So you know those situations where you're supposed to be working, but for some reason, your mind has deceived you into thinking you're going on a well-deserved break? Well, that was me last week. In that moment, everything suddenly becomes intriguing and exciting. Because of course, you want to drag out of the hours before you get back to work, right? Yep, it was then that I saw a Belgian Malinois playing with its handler. It made me realize that if this was a few years back, that dog would no doubt be a German Shepherd. And I began to wonder, why has the preferred law enforcement dog shifted to Belgian Malinois? What made humans finally decide that it's time to turn their backs on German Shepherds that have served humans for a little over 100 years? Join us today on Dogs Whiz as we dig into the secrets behind the switch from German Shepherds to Belgian Malinois. So to fully understand why the shift from German Shepherds became necessary, we need to take a time capsule back to when this breed was first developed. Back in the 1800s, Max von Stefanitz, a German cavalry officer, gathered different German farm dogs to turn them into one awesome breed. His dream was to create a breed that would make for amazing, tough, and clever companions, and with this, the German Shepherd was born. Soon, news of this spectacular breed of dog began to spread, especially after American GIs returned home from the World War. In no time, everyone began clamoring for German Shepherds. To make things worse, an American soldier, Lee Duncan, brought home a German Shepherd puppy named Rin Tin Tin. This puppy eventually became an international movie star, and everyone wanted a taste of that fame. Whether it was for work or to keep as a pet, people began to think that a German Shepherd was some kind of lucky charm that would skyrocket their popularity. It became as exciting as owning a Tesla or a Porsche. But you know how it is. When things become too popular, there's a higher chance for people to develop fakes just to keep the sales going. It's why we have so many knockoff Gucci and Prada items out there. Everyone wants a taste of the high-end cash flow from the movers and shakers of society. And this is what pretty much happened with German Shepherds. Eventually, shady kennel owners and pet shops started producing puppies as fast as they could to prevent their sales from dwindling. They did this without caring about whether the puppies they were breeding were healthy or not. However, they were not able to get far with their antiques because responsible American breeders caught wind of this as they noticed that most of the puppies being bred had hip and eye issues. Soon enough, this became the lot of most German Shepherds hence the switch to Belgian Malinois. But in all this lies a very important question. Why the Belgian Malinois and not any other breed? What even informed this decision? Well, both the German Shepherd and Belgian Malinois are similar in many ways. They look alike and are both herding dogs, so they are highly intelligent. On top of that, they both need extensive training and one-on-one -on -one handling to fit into society. So you can say that the switch from one to the other was quite convenient. Besides their physical appearances, both breeds are different in other areas. For instance, they're both high-energy dogs, but the energy levels of a Belgian Malinois will beat that of a German Shepherd, hands down. These pups have so much energy that they can run around being active all day and still have energy left to spare at the end of the day. This makes them one of the top choices among the police or military. Another good thing about a Belgian Malinois is that it has strong protective and territorial instincts, which is good for police and military work. Additionally, Belgian Malinois weigh less than German Shepherds. But this only matters if you're looking to get it as a pet. For law enforcement agents, the bigger, the better. But besides its strength, health, and protective instincts, many people still argue that German Shepherds are far better than Belgian Malinois. They have a better bite force of 238 PSI, whereas a Malinois has a bite force of 195 PSI. Many have even testified to a German Shepherd's ability to break a person's bones. Another point of difference is their intelligence. Although they're both equally intelligent, a Belgian Malinois is harder to train than a German Shepherd and needs a strict routine with firm boundaries in place. So you should expect that you'll spend more hours training it than you would train a German Shepherd. Now with all I've just stated, one would think that the police would rather go for a German Shepherd than a Belgian Malinois. But sadly, the health of these breeds is a factor that trumps everything else. I totally understand why they saw Belgian Malinois as a better fit. I mean, why invest money and time into training a German Shepherd when they won't even last long due to their health? Now it makes one wonder who's to blame for all this. Is it Max Stefanitz or the unexpected popularity of Rin Tin Tin that brought about an unhealthy craze for the breed? Or is it the shady kennel owners or pet shops who decided to take things too far by developing unhealthy breeds? Well, my vote is on the latter. Humans always tend to take things too far whenever they see that it's raking in money for them. But now that greater care is being taken to breeding healthy German Shepherds, maybe there's still hope for these creatures. But until then, we'll have to live with the constant tide of change that continues to sweep across society, especially in the canine world. So with all I've said, which breed do you think is better? Are you more of a German Shepherd fan or are you for the Belgian Malinois? Please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.